Hello, I am going to cover oral grammar games. These games you can play with any and all the children as young as two and a half to three years of age. So we'll start with the nouns. I do want to preface this with an important note. You do not ever give the child the names of the parts of speech. So I'll refer to them by their, obviously, part of speech. But when you are engaging with your child, do not uh, give them the names. The whole purpose of this is to give them the experience of parts of speech. So, hence in the name of the work, Oral Grammar Games. Um, we want the child walking away with an understanding of what a noun is, a verb, and so on. So we start with the noun. I will pretend my child. Um, Susie, can you please go get the story stone? Susie, please get the story stone. Oh, thank you, Susie. Uh, and Billy, can you please go get a ball, bowl, a small bowl? Yes, I see the bowl. It's so shiny. Thank you. Go put it back. And Bobby, please go get me a bell. Did you know that I wanted this? Normally they say, because you told me. Yes. Did I tell you, Belle? Did I tell you to bring the bell? I did. Do it a few more times. How did you know I wanted this? Oh, did I tell you the name of it? Oh, these are the names of things. Bell, story stone, small bowl, all of these are names of things. Table, window, ball, your toy. You can play that all the time. And maybe your child will discover that everything has a name. And even if we don't know the name, we can figure out a name for it. Um, the next one that we do is like this. Susie, can you please go get me a tissue? Oh, thank you. I'm not going to use it. But you can use it. Anybody need to use the tissue? I don't like to throw it away without being used. And Bobby, can you please go bring me a plant? Oh, lovely. Lots of long linear leaves here. Thank you for bringing a plant. And Billy, can you please go bring me jump? Billy will turn around and not really know where jump could be. And I kind of insist, please bring me jump. Put jump right in here. Um, sometimes the children do the sign language for jump. <laughs> ah, but you can't keep it in my hand. I can't take it with me. Hmm, but is this something you can do? Yeah, let's jump. Let's all jump. Yay. Oh, so that was something we could do. How about clap? Can you go get clap? No, but it's something that we can do. Ah, so these words, jump, clap, and run, are all things that we can do. They're action words, filled with action. And then another one is for the adjective. This one's really fun. So, uh, Donnie, go get um, a pencil, please. Or the pencil. Please go get me the pencil. Do, 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 do. He brings me blue color pencil. Mm, it's not the one I wanted. Go put it back, please. Please go get me a pencil. Brings me in This is not the one I wanted. Please go get me a pencil. This isn't the one I wanted. 
and he might continue with more and more colors. But eventually, usually an older friend will say, what kind of pencil? Ah, I want the purple pencil. Ah, here it is, the purple pencil. Thank you. Purple told us which pencil, right? Purple told us which pencil it was. There's some words that tell us what kinds of things or which ones. And you can play that with, um, you can cut out various uh, shapes and you can say, please bring me the circle, circle, circle. You say, no, say, the smallest circle. Um, you can play with books at home. No, the heavy book and so on. And then the other one is the adverb. And this one doesn't require any materials. So, Johnny, I'd like you to go and walk for me. And Johnny gets up and he walks. Oh, that's a lovely walk. That's not how I want you to walk. Uh, Jenny, can you please go and walk? So Jenny gets up and she walks. No, that's not how I wanted you to walk. And so the other children have turns, or your, your children at home. It's not how, that's not how. Then finally they may ask, how? To which you may reply, oh, I'm so glad you asked. Please walk on your toes. And then they walk on their toes. Oh, that was so much fun. Hmm, maybe you can jump. Oh, that's not how I wanted you to jump. Oh no, I wanted to, to jump quickly, or you could think of other ways. And then you could tell them, oh, there, there's some words that tell us how we do things. Um, that's for the adverb. And then for the preposition, you get to use some things. So you need at least two. You could do it with three children. Um, if you just have one child, that's okay. You can take part in it. So you tell uh, Mickey to go get something. He goes and he brings a pencil. And then you can bring something. Or your children are holding it. And then you say, okay, um, Mickey put... And Johnny's holding the box. Mickey's holding the pencil. Mickey, you put the pencil over the box. Mmm, and Mickey, I want you to put it, uh, the box next to the pencil, besides the pencil, over the pencil, and then you tell them each their turn, put your pencil next to the box, put your box under the pencil, put your box far from, put the pencil close to, and then you let them know all oh, these words, tell us how they relate, how these two things relate. And then for the last one for primary is the conjunction. This one's fun. So you need three um, for this initial one and then you can play with one or two people. So I um, pick two objects in the house. Uh, for this one, we'll do the pitcher and the cloth. So I turn to child one, Abby, and say, Abby, please bring me the uh, pitcher and the cloth. So Abby will bring the cloth and the pitcher. And here are the things that Abby brought. And then we say, okay, Jimmy, Please bring me the pitcher or the cloth. So Jimmy will go and he'll pick, hmm, maybe he'll bring both of them. You say, hmm, or the pitcher or the cloth. He brings the cloth. And then uh, Katie, Katie, please bring me the 
the pitcher, but but not the cloth. She brings the pitcher, but not the cloth. So let's examine these for a second. Abby, I told you to bring the pitcher and the cloth. Jimmy, I told you to bring the pitcher or the cloth, and you brought the cloth. So you only brought one thing. And then, Kat, Kathy, Kathy, please bring me the pitcher, but not the cloth. And she brought only one thing. She brought me the thing I asked. And you can explore this and then do it with other objects. And you can explore again the different ways that these words worked with one another. And that's the end of oral grammar games for primary children.